Hi, this video is going to be about simple Mendelian genetics and questions are very easy and I believe that everyone would be able to solve both problems correctly so I recommend you to stop video here, read uh, the questions, choose uh, the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And simple Mendelian genetics means that we have uh, two alleles, so one gene represented with two alleles and one can be dominant allele A for example, another would be recessive allele A and these two alleles can make three genotypes. One would be homozygous dominant, another one heterozygous and the third one homozygous recessive. And to these genotypes would make one phenotype that is going to be dominant phenotype and this genotype would make a second phenotype. So the first problem is albinism is recessive trait if carrier for albinism has kids with someone who is homozygous dominant what are the chances of having an albino child? So uh, as you see one parent is carrier for albinism, that means that uh, he belongs to this genotype, so he going to be phenotypically normal, but would be carrier of the recessive allele that may cause a genetic disorder if present in two copies. And uh, another parent is uh, homozygous dominant, so that means belong to this genotype. So in order to predict uh, outcome of such a cross we have to build a Punnett square. For example we can put uh, homozygous dominant parent on top and carrier or heterozygous parent here on the side. And when we build a Punnett square we can see uh, different genotypes, phenotypes and their frequencies. So here we would have uh, capital A, capital A, capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here and capital A, small a here. And as you see 100% of the progeny uh, would be phenotypically normal, those 50% uh, of them would be carriers, but still uh, would be phenotypically normal because both these genotypes uh, belong to this group and here we have one dominant allele and uh, so uh, this is going to be 100% uh, normal and our question is what are the chances of having an albino child and that means that uh, the correct answer would be A. Zero chances. Now we can move to the second question. What are the chances that two people who are carriers of the sickle cell allele will have a child with no sickle cell allele? So once again carriers means heterozygous genotype so we can uh, once again build a Punnett square and uh, both parents are carriers so they are going to be heterozygous and when we build a Punnett square we can see uh, the possible genotypes and their frequencies. So here we have homozygous dominant, here we have heterozygous, heterozygous uh, genotype here and homozygous recessive uh, genotype here. So as you see three out of four genotypes have uh, one at least one recessive allele and only one out of four uh, doesn't have a recessive allele and once again our question was what are the chances that two people who are carriers of the sickle cell allele will have a child with no sickle cell allele and as you see uh, the frequency would be one quarter so only one out of four chances that the child wouldn't have uh, 
any recessive alleles. So uh, the correct answer would be B, one quarter. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Goodbye.